In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new throttle bundle that just got added to Rocket League. going to be going over all the customization as well as the Shikara G1, which I think this is a new car if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go over the hitbox of that as well, as well as figuring out whether or not it's worth it to buy. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I do bundles like this all the time, and I'm also giving away items at 1,000 subscribers at 7-Eleven. So make sure you subscribe so you can be entered in that giveaway. And yeah, it's going to be the video. First thing I said is Shikara G1. I seriously don't remember ever seeing this car before, so I just don't have it, or this is brand new with this bundle, which in that case... Cool. We're gonna go test this out in free play and in a casual game, but I'm pretty sure this is a Domino's hitbox. Correct me if I'm wrong. We also got Radiant Gush, which this looks pretty cool. It's definitely got an ocean vibe to it. Sky blue, but I mean, still reminds me of the ocean, so. We got the Corseki 1 antenna. I mean, I don't use antennas that often, but I mean, that's not bad. And then next we got the Zap decal, which this is basically just a plain decal of lightning bolts and throttles name at the back. That's not bad decal. It's kind of clean. I'll put Andes Pearl on it, see how it looks. That's a good theme, and what about this one? These are all pretty cool, and then Japan, I didn't see this down here. I think I like this one the best. And the title, Full Throttle, which a play on words because his name is Throttle, and Throttle, Throttle, Throttle. <laughs> Normally I don't buy bundles, I use box mod, but I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this one, just because it's 500. And also, I'm not 100% sure if the Shikara is actually a new car or not. Because normally, I would just use box mod apply all the stuff to whatever car I wanted or to the car that I have. But I don't have that car, so that's the main reason why I'm buying it. And also, there's a free version right here, it looks like. Oh, uh, this song. I won't use that since I spent $5 on other anthems, so we'll go ahead and apply those real quick. As you can tell by the uh, cool looking mainframe thing I have on this by default, you can change any decal you want. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and put on the Zap since it's the one that comes in the bundle. Paint finishes, you can change anything you want, and this is what it looks like with Andai's Pearl, and I think that looks super good. But because it doesn't come with Andai's Pearl, we're not going to put it on for this video. We're just going to treat it like classic, assuming you don't have Andai's Pearl. But Andai's Pearl makes anything better. I mean, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> Wheels, you can put anything you want on, but this doesn't come with wheels so i'll keep my white dracos same with the boost i'll keep white standard you can put anything else you want on nothing came with this you can put any top of your one on nothing came with it and 10 on the other hand the corsec you won oh no wait oh i apologize there is a boost that came with this um where is it i forgot that we got radiant gush from a bundle i'm stupid <laughs> but yeah there's radiant gush and corsec you won Oh, this game is really laggy. I have to be updated. Like, come on now. But yeah, gold explosions you can put whatever you want on trail anything and the engine sound is there an engine sound for this there is That doesn't sound too bad. But you can put anything else you want on. As long as it's not like a DLC, like you can't put the formula of a McLaren on this, but you can put any of these ones you have. So from the looks of this, if you guys remember the Artemis GXT from a Rocket Pass like way back when, this is what this car reminds me of a little bit. It looks similar to like the other cars like the Sentinel and I'm trying to think of other ones. But it's got a certain design to it that I've seen a few times before in other cars. As far as hitbox, this is almost guaranteed to be a Dominus hitbox. I, I don't see how it can't be. Unless possibly like a breakout, but I'm feeling pretty similar to a Dominus right here. So. And like I said, let me know in the comments if this is a Dominus hitbox or breakout hitbox. And also if this is a brand new car or if this is just a returning one. I just didn't know about. Gonna go ahead and play some Castle 2s. Oh, by the way, if you didn't see my community post... GC. And I just got a GC rewards last night too. I was at 1500. I lost like six out of the nine games I played. So, but I got the rewards. So it's all that matters. And I'm still GC. So, but no, we're not going to be playing competitive today because I basically just won't be talking about the car at all. Just be focused. So we're going to play casual too. Yo, BB gun mic. Hey, that's how it works. Nice. Oh, close. Oh, dang. You got that? My bad. <laughs> yeah, you really told him there. <laughs> oh, nice. I got bumped. Good demo. There we go. No, crossbar. And he took a boost again. Nice shot. Oh, steel missed. Alright, nice. Lemon, lemon squeezy. So my mic sound trash or do I have like a wrong mic? Like am I loud and clear or is it my first time trying this? Can you even hear me at all? <laughs> Imagine this whole time he hasn't been able to hear me. Oh, he left. Okay. <laughs> I had another game recorded, but I'm going to save that for a separate video because the guy I was with, um, he, 
That was some funny stuff. So for the sake of talking about the bundle and not drifting off into gameplay, I'm going to just skip ahead to, is this worth it? All right, so final opinion on the Throttle bundle. Is it worth it? It really all comes down to preference, and I feel like I can say that for most of the bundles that come out. As far as, like, the actual items themselves, the Jakara, I think that this car is actually pretty good, and I know, I'm sorry, I didn't really get to say much about the actual cars in-game because voice chat, it's just a fun feature. I'm sorry. So the gameplay was more, was less about talking about the actual bundle, more about just actually playing the game and with the car. But yeah, regardless of Jakara, I think this is a pretty good car. Dominance hitbox, like we said, unless I'm wrong, but I don't think I am because, yeah, how can this not be? So, <laughs> to my knowledge, this is a brand new car. So, 500 credits just for this car alone, I mean, that could be worth it for you, especially if you're a collector. Radiant Gush is a pretty nice boost. It matches pretty much any kind of water-themed thing, so even if he took it away from this bundle, the boost could actually work really well with, like, an aqua ocean-themed design. The antenna, I'm probably never gonna use, because antennas, I just don't use them. The zap decal isn't really that good, especially since with this car, you can actually change any decal you want, like, black market and etc. The anthems are actually all pretty nice. I like all three of them. And the title, I'm probably not going to use this at all. I forgot to equip it, but I'm probably not going to use the title at all because I got other stuff and I'm going to get that Grand Champ title in a little bit. But all in all, is this worth it? I would have to say, yeah, it's kind of, it, it's worth it. It's only 500 credits. It's a very cheap bundle. And keep in mind, if you do go ahead and get this bundle, make sure you use a creative code. I personally do not have one. Just use somebody's, anybody's. I don't really care who. So that way you can help support the channels and just help them out. So that being said, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Give away 1,000 for 7 11 items and yeah see you guys next video peace